Kid Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Thursday. It's November the 19th. Will Ferrell is on top of Forbes magazine's list of the movie stars who don't get a lot of bang for the buck. What they're saying is he's one of the most overpaid actors in Hollywood because for every dollar he's paid, the movie doesn't earn back that much. That makes sense. So, like, if they spend a dollar to hire him, his movies actually bring in $3.29 for every dollar they pay him. That's the worst on the list. He's had a couple stinkers lately, Semi-Pro and Land of the Lost. I don't think anybody saw him, and if they did, they don't admit to it. Ewan McGregor is second on that list of underperforming movie stars. His early, uh, movies earn an average of three seventy five for each dollar he's paid. But he does a lot of art films that a lot of people don't see anyway, I guess. And then next on the list, Billy Bob Thornton, followed by Eddie Murphy and Ice Cube. Now, the movie star who gets the most bang for the buck would be Shia LaBeouf. For every dollar he's paid, his movies earn an average of 160 bucks. Taylor Swift just signed a deal with American Greetings Corporation to design her own line not only of greeting cards, but of stationary gift wrap, online products and greetings and things of that nature. She said about a year ago, if somebody wants to impress her and give her a really great gift, stationary is the way to go. That's closest to her heart. And I'm sorry, I'm turning down something right there. So she said it was a natural connection for her just to take her songwriting talents and write down a little greeting in a card. And who doesn't think they can write a greeting card if they want to? Everybody thinks they can. They think they can write greeting cards and name nail polishes. That's what everybody thinks they have a talent for. Paris Hilton told police it was not her, but neighbors are saying, uh, yeah, it was. We saw you. There was apparently a huge argument in the driveway of the home that she shares with her boyfriend, Doug Reinhardt, and neighbors called police. Now, when they got there, of course, nobody's in the driveway. Paris comes all sleepy-eyed, yawn, and saying, oh, Doug and I were asleep the whole time. We don't know what was going on, but the people who were involved are his, you know, nightmare, hellish uh, house guests who were out there arguing, but a neighbor says no. He saw Paris standing outside. She was screaming at Doug, and the two of them got into a shoving match. The police even made her get out of bed to show that she was not injured, because she was saying she wasn't in that case. Now, after coughing her way through testimony during that trial involving the two paparazzi that were stalking her constantly, Nicole Ritchie finally uh, took herself to the hospital where she's being treated for pneumonia. She thought she just had a really, really bad cold for the past couple of weeks. In fact, she had to miss the launch of her House of Harlow jewelry line at BB in LA. And there were rumors going around that she might have had the swine flu, but her rep denied that. But now they're saying it definitely was pneumonia and that now she's in the hospital, she's doing much better. Finally, how'd you like to see Kristen Stewart making out with Dakota Fanning? Well, it's not an added scene they put into the new Moon Twilight sequel. It's actually from another movie they're co-starring in together that comes out next year, The Runaways. And this movie's based on the lives of Joan Jett and her bandmate, former lover, Cherry Curry. Dakota plays Cherry and Kristen, of course, plays Joan Jett. Now, um, there is some lip-on-lip -lip action in The Runaways, but the only vampire and human interaction, as far as kissing goes, in the new moon sequels between Bella and Edward and definitely not Bella and Jane. And that is your Showbiz Top 5 for Thursday.